listeners, my name is Mr. Kim. Welcome to my news parody. Okie dokie, holy moly, hoo ha! Keep your heads up, fellas, and let's go on up, babe. Let's go on. <laughs> All right, check it out, real. Better do a single sometime soon, bit. <laughs> okay, but first off, please subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button. And of course, the notification bell. And thanks a zillion, mate. And you can take that to the bank, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's cut through the chase and roll with it, fellas. Now, on the Adu Governorship election, done. That's right. But not dusted. Because the blues of the average Adu person is pretty heavy. Right now, now the game plans of the impostor Democrats that they strangled the votes from the Edo South area, especially the local government areas, the three local government areas in the Benin metropolis, uh, namely Oedo, Bubaha, and of course, Ego local government areas. Massive population in those three local government areas. Subtracting from their opponents and adding to their own votes, it can happen. Jackson, it happened. And that's exactly the way it did. There ain't nothing you can do about it, Jackson. So take a chill pill and be good in it. Get. <laughs> okay, let's go with it. The ABC Governor and Deputy have both gone to pick their certificates from the umpire. And of course, I've taken it to the man who conducted the Edo State Governorship election. That's right. Mr. Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Yeah, we did it, bro. It was his election, bro. His project, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Adam Sushimule, as usual, was at it again when he said the APC governor has a lot of native intelligence and it would utilize Yari 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 in a dual state. Now, it's still not so bad yet. Not him. He's not so bad by himself, by refraining from making very annoying speeches and comments. Now these comments play on our intelligence, Murfa, tremendously. <laughs> I mean, what does he think himself for anyway? <laughs> Alright, so that's, that's true. Shut up, Jackson. I, I said so. I said it's true. So I don't know what you're saying, mate. <laughs> I'm gonna deal with you tonight if you're not careful. <laughs> he doesn't know me. Damn. Okay, wow. <laughs> now, look who's back again. Believe it or not, it's a top notch in a do APC. So many things rely on him in a do state APC culture. In Benin language, they call people like that Amamia Uno for APC. Okay, let's switch gears now. That's right. Israel and Hezbollah, and of course Hamas. You know, the war continues. More rocket attacks from Hezbollah on the northern part of Israel. International military analysts, they are pretty much convinced the saying Israel is hoping to do a swift but heavy land attacks in Hezbollah strongholds. They, however, say it is not going to be a walk in the park for the IDF and so on and so forth. Now, what's a walk in the park? A walk in the park is your head, Jackson. <laughs> okay, and of course, his border terrorists have pretty much been beaten black and blue by Israel lately. And they want to make it even with the massive Iranian support. The two parties who have vowed revenge against Israel for what they call crossing the red lines. We will continue striking Hezbollah. Anyone who has a missile in their living room and a rocket 
in their garage will not have a home. The latest Israeli offensive against Hezbollah is the Jewish nation's largest since the 2006 war with the terror group. Also left Hezbollah chief Hassan Nasrallah alone at the top. Israel's military chief has asked his troops to prepare for a ground offensive into Lebanon. Then three of Hezbollah's top leaders have also been killed within a week. Ibrahim Kobesi, the chief of Hezbollah's rocket and missile division was killed on September 24th. Ali Karaki, a member of the Jihadi Council of Hezbollah, was killed on September 23rd. Ibrahim Akil, head of Hezbollah's operation, was killed on September 20th. Now, good fellas, that's our show for today. I want to say many thanks for swinging by to check this out. Y'all sure do appreciate you. Yeah, if you haven't subscribed to Mr. K24 Radio, please click on the subscribe button and of course the notification bell. And holla, you're now subscribed to Mr. K24 Radio. Yeah. Okay, many thanks to all the subscribers of this channel. We're looking for a great deal more subscribers for Mr. K24 Radio News Parody. Please spread the word around, tell your folks, friends and family members about Mr. K24 Radio news parody it's got a flavor like non airs and of course you can take that to the bag yo my name is mr k and i'm gonna see you in the next one bye y'all <laughs>